Hello, everybody. Scott Golden here with the Pro Wrestling Logic and uh, Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. So obviously, this is uh, this is uh, Golden Opportunities Coaching, and we've got over thirteen hundred of these available for your listening pleasure. Variety of topics. This is the third in our narcissism series. The third of three. Um, what do narcissists do and not do? Why are they doing it? If you're dealing with somebody who is narcissistic in your life, first of all, my sympathies and, and, and um, support to you. This can be one of the most emotionally damaging things that any person can go through. Um, a lot of times they don't even realize they're dealing with such, a, uh, such an issue, and that becomes problematic for a number of reasons. Uh, many people don't even realize that they have that issue to be dealt with. And so there's challenges as it relates to moving forward in that way. And so uh, a couple of things to look at in, in terms of trying to make that work. If you are looking for support in that area, would love to be of assistance to you. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. We can make something happen for you. First of all, they don't learn from their mistakes. That is, they don't choose to grow emotionally because the desire for control is the first thing that, that really matters. The desire for control is, uh, you know, making decisions in a, in a healthy way, making decisions in a meaningful way is more about control than it is about uh, about conflict resolution for people with narcissistic tendency now that doesn't mean that they're always going to be horrible people but a lot of times uh, any reflection towards making it appear like they're learning and growing on an emotional level is directly related to the idea that they can control the narrative and make things happen in their own f or for their own benefit and so the selfish nature of that connective is where the power lies because being selfish in that way leads to a level of control and, and narrative and all of those things that ultimately uh, don't go according to exact plan or the idea of the plan that the person wants. So hopefully uh, you have people around you to point those things out because a lot of times if you're in the middle of a pattern, you don't really know it. The next thing is they don't want to take personal responsibility for other people or the emotions or the effects they have on other people. Thus, um, the pass the buck mentality remains a major uh, you know, coping mechanism for them. Uh, they're looking at you know, passing the buck as a way of just getting some level of control and that leads to a whole bunch of challenges and problems. Ultimately, you know, coming down to blaming other people for the situations they're in and trying to skirt any level of personal, professional, or emotional responsibility. The skirting ultimately then leads to isolation because the narcissist is always playing the victim, taking the uh, responsibility away from themselves and putting it onto the person that they're victimizing. This causes a scrambling of the lack of need to take responsibility, which then uh, causes the narcissist to be able to get w get away with more control, which is usually based, at least in part, on a social expectation that the world revolve around them or that they get a level of connectivity that is based in having emotional control over other people because they often can't maintain healthy relationships or relationships that are more equitable and fair. So instead, that level of negativity uh, is, um, you know, at the center of things. And so that becomes problematic in and of itself. The last thing to look at here is the tendency for those individuals uh, who are, you know, in that narcissistic pattern, they're not interested in getting real help. They like or have a protective mechanism in place that tells them they don't, they don't have the problem, the, other, the rest of the world has the problem, and so if they're not willing to ac accept any personal responsibility on a consistent basis, the, the need to seek professional help, the need to seek counsel, the need to look at things differently are all things that these individuals will not do or don't see a benefit to doing 
And now they may fake it and say they will get help, but they never actually follow through. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.